Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, also known as SIDS, is one of the leading causes of death for babies in the first year of life. It's on the decline, though, but parents still need to be cautious. Joining me now is Charlotte Wenham. She's from the company that makes Snooza, a baby movement monitor to detect SIDS. All right. You know, I don't like gadgets per se, but I do believe that, uh, especially for infants, uh, you have to be very vigilant. I remember when I have my, my, my son, uh, you know, I was looking at the crib all the time, making sure that he, that he was breathing, that he was moving, and it was very, very difficult. But, uh, and for many parents, of course, uh, SIDS is a major uh, tragedy. Uh, tell me a, bit, a little bit about SIDS. SIDS, by definition, is the sudden, unexpected death of a child between the ages of 1 to 12 months of age. It is on the decline, uh, however, still somewhere between 8 to 10 families every day lose a baby to SIDS. Yeah. Do we know anything about the clinical reasons be behind SIDS? We honestly have no idea at this point in time. SIDS is a category where every other cause of death possible has been ruled out. And yeah. we just we don't have the answers. I mean, and you know there are risk factors like premature, you know, the, the premature babies mm -hmm. and and uh, mothers that smoke and things of the sort. And of course, we always talk about uh, you know the position that these babies should be sleeping, which is uh, on their back okay. uh, with their face uncovered. All right, and not and not to, not a lot of cluster in the, in no. the cribs. But, but let's get to the device. I think that that's very interesting. How does it work? How does this noosa work? It just goes over the waistband of the baby's diaper, near their belly button. So like a little beeper? Similar, yeah, like a little pager. Like a little pager. So you yep. clip this on the, uh, the diaper, okay? You turn it on, uh -huh. and the sensor in it detects movements of baby's tummy. So as they're breathing in and out, it detects that movement. If there's no movement sense for 15 seconds, what it will actually do is it'll trigger a vibration. So similar to when you put your cell phone on vibrate and someone tries to send you a message or call you, just a really gentle reminder almost that they need to do something. Okay, if this is on the diaper. Yes. Okay, and the baby stops breathing, who senses the vibration? The monitor senses the vibration. Okay. If there's no movement sense within five seconds of that vibration, what will happen is the monitor will set off an alarm. This monitor? That monitor. Okay, and the alarm is what? Um, it's a loud, it's kind of like a, a fire siren, almost. Oh, so, so, so if it's I'm in another loud. room, I will be oh, able to definitely. hear it? definitely. Oh, okay. Definitely. Okay, okay. So, so the alarm itself, because you were saying that it vibrates. It does, yes. That's to s try and stimulate baby to start breathing. Okay, so again. the first thing that it does as is sending, as is making an alarm sound, mm -hmm. is that f it, it really shakes the baby. In other words, like a, a little bit of a, a yep. rattle in their tummy, so that they might just wake up or or at least move That's or, or whatever, make a correction in their breathing. Yes. And at the same time, it sends a loud uh, noise to the parents who might be in the next yes. room that, that they can rush back in. That's and correct. All right. So they can go and check okay. on their baby, make sure that they're safe and well. How are you getting the word out? I mean, yeah, of course you're coming to the show, but you know, how, do you, how, you, how, are this, you know, how is this being uh, presented in the marketplace? It's also being presented to a lot of obstetricians. We're contacting them to let them know about it, doulas. Um, there's a lot of baby stores who where well, you have it, it so, so that people can get it if they Definitely. want to. Definitely. Uh, let's talk about the science behind it. How effective is it? How accurate is it? Has yep. it been registered with uh, different agencies? Yep. It's a parenting aid, so it's not a medical device, so it's not registered with the FDA. Right. It meets all the relevant safety standards. It's a very safe monitor. The um, components within it and the plastics that actually house everything are made of medical grade quality, it's lead free, it uses all of the highest quality products, so it's a very safe product, meets all the standards as well. But as far as the efficacy, I yep. mean I understand the science, I think it's a very, very interesting science, but the efficacy, yep. have you done studies? There have been a lot of studies done, um, in particular in South Africa where it was developed, it was actually used in a neonatal intensive care unit. And in every single case where a baby stopped breathing while they were wearing a snoozer and also hooked up to all of the other medical monitors as well, it either successfully stimulated the baby again through the vibration 
or the monitor set off the alarm in yeah. every single case. Now let's let's talk about something which uh, we you know we have to talk about, which is the cost. Is it expensive? The snooze is one hundred and ninety nine dollars. Are we going to bring the price down, maybe? Look, the iPhone just went for, for $99. Why don't you bring the price down? Well, what you actually get for your $199 is a lot of value. You get the monitor. Uh -huh. Because it's portable, we've also put a case together so you can take everything if they go into grandparents' place, to daycare centres, anywhere like that. Also comes with a DVD that shows you how to use it properly so you know, you know exactly where it needs to be placed. You can see it visually. And it also has um, an infant first aid and healthcare section on it. It shows you how to do CPR, rescue breathing on infants. All right, so it's a, so it's a really complete safety it package. Is. Well, I like the idea. I think it's very innovative. Um, w what's the time limit as so far as you recommending this device be utilized in infants? SIDS is still a concern up to the 12-month mark. Right. So it is ultimately up to the parents how long they want to use it, but definitely recommended for the first year of life at, All right. at least. You want to plug your website where parents can get more info? Certainly. Go ahead. Go to www.snoozer.com. Snoozer, S-N-U-Z-A, dot com. You got it. Well, thank you so much. Very interesting device. I like this device. I think that anything that can prevent SIDS or at least alarm, alert parents is something yeah, very, very good to definitely. have. Definitely. I agree. And if you have any health topics you want to talk to me about, email me here at fox at drmanny at foxnews.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.